Hello, welcome back to Iris Thinks. Today I'm at Fully Charged in Farnborough and once again you find me on the GWM Aura stand. Yesterday they launched this car here, which is their new retro futuristic premium saloon. Bit of a long mouthful. Um, as yet it doesn't have a name, but in China where it's been on sale since 2022, it's actually called the Lightning Cat and it's also uh, for sale in Thailand under the Grand Cat name as well. So. It's going to be available in Q1 2024 and they're actually taking reservations now. So if you're interested, you can get your name down, pay deposit and you're in the queue. So like I normally do, I'll start at the front, move down the side, go to the rear and then go in the interior. So at the front, we've got the very prominent um, Aura badge, which is based on an exclamation mark. We've got the really nice Porsche derived, Porsche styled front end. Also, I can see hints of Volkswagen Beetle in here as well with the with the lights and then the shut line of the actual front bonnet, which looks quite nice. At the bottom here, we've got these kind of honeycomb type effects, which is copied over from the Aura Funky Cat. And just looking at the headlights, we've got um, LED round here, which works for the DRL and also for the indicator. But you've got the dual like headlight lens in, in here as well, which looks really nice. It gives it a real air of quality. So let's move on to the side. We've got 19 inch wheels, really nice alloys. They're diamond cut as well, so they're black and they're silver, which is nice. Um, you can see the profile. The profile is very similar to Porsche Panamera. I also think it looks like an elongated beetle. So imagine taking a beetle and stretched it. You've got the longer boot, you've got the short overhang, but looks quite nice. We've got flush door handles. Here they're actually open, ready to pull. So look really nice. And uh, we've got cameras, all-round cameras here as well. So you can use them for parking and things. And it's also got blind spot indicator on the mirrors as well. So moving to the rear, we've got the really swoopy back end. This is actually a spoiler that will pop up at certain speeds. Um, it's not glass, but the way they've integrated it, it kind of extends the glass down. Um, third level brake light here. Really nice logo on the back. So you no doubt it's an Aura. The lights kind of look a little bit Bentley like to me because they're like got the chrome surround they're kind of crystal looking they've got the like nice detail inside looks really nice we've got reversing camera on the back here you just pop the boot open so it's a traditional saloon size boot um, it's got the small opening but it's quite deep inside I don't have a figure for the, the capacity underneath we have the usual accompaniments in here the tire gunk the charging cable compressor that type of thing also got warning triangle on the back too and as you've seen it's electric so so even though this is pre-production the equivalent car in china has an 82 kilowatt hour battery which gives it over 300 miles range wltp it's going to be available in both two-wheel and four-wheel drive uh, with dual motors on the four-wheel drive it's going to have 400 PS and 680 Newton meters of torque, but again, that's still to be confirmed. And it would do not to 62 in 4.4 seconds. So let's move to the interior. When you sit in, you're greeted with lots of premium materials. We've got synthetic leather, we've got brushed aluminium, and we've got suede on the dash as well. That seems to be the theme with all the GWM Aura cars at the moment. They're all premium features like the chrome, the leather, the quilted stitching, all that kind of stuff, which is really nice. The steering wheel feels quite nice. It's quite thin, feels quite sporty. Again, it's cladding synthetic leather with a nice stitching on it too. Lots of buttons around here to control the usual things. It's even got voice control. Raise the driver's window. And you can see it's quite quick to respond as well, which is really nice. Some of the systems I've used in the past aren't. VW, I'm looking at you. Um, steering wheel moves for reach and rake like usual and sitting behind the steering wheel you've got a screen that's kind of cowled with three sort of um, circular frames. You, you can see the battery charge, you can see your speed and then you've got another panel on the right for um, information which looks quite nice. The screen is in widescreen format, it's got the usual Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and SatNav and again you'll access all the car's features through this. Center console looks really nice in the brushed aluminium. You've got these really good tactile switches here to control the AC. So you've got a button to do the AC 
and you've got dials down here to actually control it so you don't have to do this through the dash which is really nice um, you've also got a mode button here which will go through the various drive modes lower down you've got this natty little dial here that is for your water bottle push it in and there's a button there to release it you've also got um, a small little center console thing here to put like cards in or something and then an additional storage there just by pressing the button underneath the center console you've got another storage bay which you've got two usb ports one for charging and one for data and then the usual 12 volt socket so the seats are really comfortable they adjust in every which way you think you can and they're electrical and they've got lumbar support functions down here the door is clad in the same synthetic leather as the seat but you've got a nice dual tone feature here with the dark and the light we've got the chrome strip running down and the other chrome accents that really make the door look premium underneath this chrome strip there's actually an led uh, light bar as well which you can change in the center console to be whatever color you want usual selection of switches and you've got the infinity premium sound system as well which sounds really good the bottom of the door you've got a space for a bottle and just a small little area at the back so if you've seen my videos before i like to check out the back and see how much room there is so the driver's seat is set for my seating position. I'm about six foot two, six foot three. So let's see how much room we've got. So I can see straight away, I've got a ton of legroom here. The, the distance between my knee and the seat is huge, which is nice. My feet feel slightly higher. It's probably the battery under the floor. And you can see with the gap between my thigh and the, the seat. It feels really nice and really premium in here. Again, we've got the nice synthetic leather, which is good seats feel quite soft at, but quite supportive at the same time they've got um, a really nice um, bolster in the back here headroom um, so my hair is actually grazing the top of the um, glass roof here so there's not not that much headroom for me I imagine if we're going over a bumpy road my head's going to be hitting the top a bit so I'm not keen on that one um, center console in the middle We've got these aircraft style air vents, which is cool. You can direct them any way you want. Beneath that, we've got two USB ports. We've got USB-C, USB type A, which are covering all bases with that. And then there's a slightly smaller um, storage panel underneath. In the middle here, we've got usual armrest, storage space for drinks, which is cool. And we've got the usual ISO fix in the base of the seats too, so you can fit a child car seat. So that was just a brief overview of the new premium saloon from GWM Aura. As I said, reservations are available now with delivery expected in Q1 2024. Some more information about the Funky Cat, that's going to be getting a bit of a spec upgrade. More premium features are going to be added to that and they're going to be increasing the battery size, which is a good move. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And because this card doesn't have a name yet, I'm going to go away and think of some and then submit some. So what do you think about Battle Cat or or Thundercat maybe.